Hey, how y'all doing? So in this video, it sh should be a very short video. It shouldn't take me very long to do this one. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be teaching you how to find the criteria for a high probability market structure shift. Okay. So there's a few things you need to look for whenever we're talking about a high probability market structure shift. Okay. Number one, does it take liquidity beforehand? Number two, do you have a fair value gap? Number three, did it close above the swing point? Okay, so let's break it down. Number one, let's start there. Did it take liquidity? So we're using this USDCHF right here from this week, okay? And what I have right here is the weekly chart. Now, yes, like it's not just weekly liquidity pools, obviously, but um, for this example, this is what we got here. So we understand beneath previous week's lows, is significant sell side liquidity above previous week's highs is significant buy side liquidity mm -hmm. this is the week that we're currently trading on when my cursor is moving this green candle right here this is last week's low look at this right here this is last week's low this is last week's high we opened up right here this week so let's go down to the daily chart now here is monday you can see right here we opened up look and then we expand lower so we expanded lower right here and we took we took previous week's lows liquidity that key liquidity pool i was just talking about a second ago remember right there we take that liquidity now go to the four hour chart look right here you can see it's the same exact area we have this four hour swing low level right here look at my cursor and where it's moving lowest low in the middle higher low on the left higher low on the right that makes that a swing low level we understand there are sell stops beneath that level so what did I tell you step number one was? Does it take liquidity? This is key. Wait for liquidity or you'll be the liquidity. I say it so many times. Wait for liquidity or you will be the liquidity. Number one for a market structure shift and having that true change in direction of trend, you need to see it take liquidity. We took previous week's lows. We took this four-hour sell stops. Boom. Purges it out of the marketplace, right? Then what do we look for next after we take that liquidity for the change in trend? We will look for that reaction. This is where we have that reaction, okay? We have that surge up higher. For a shift in market structure, we need to see it do what? We need to see it crack a short-term high for a shift in market structure. Right here, we have a swing high. High is high in the middle where my cursor is moving. Lower high on the left, lower high on the right. That makes it a short-term high. We, we're trading lower because look at this. We're trading lower where it's, it's a bearish trend. It's a bearish trend. It's trading down. It's trading down. It's trading down. And right here, right here on the surge lower where you see my cursor moving, it is taking previous week's lows. It is taking that higher time from liquidity. The trend is bearish. It's bearish. It's bearish. Boom. We have a shift right here. We have a shift on that surge up that cracks a short-term high. That is our shift in market. So we've already concluded that step number one is complete. It took liquidity. It took that significant, that significant higher time from liquidity. And right after it was followed up with a move higher that cracked a short-term high. Step number two, we want to see a fair value gap confirmation. The reason for this is because in simplest terms, it tells us that there was a lot of interest in sending this higher off this particular point. There was a strong reaction in simplest terms. So we have a fair value gap and the fair value gap can only be created if there was a strong reaction. That's what we saw here. We have the fair value gap and I have a video on fair value gaps, which is another ICT concept, obviously, and I will leave a link to my fair value gap video in the video description for you to look at, okay? That's it for anybody that doesn't know what that is because it's important. So we have the fair value gap in here. We Now now what we concluded, we took liquidity. We have the crack of a short-term high, which is obviously for a market structure shift, you need to see a crack of short-term high as well. That's 100% necessary, you need that. You need to see a crack of short-term high, we do it right here. We have the fair value gap, boom. And another key thing here is a close above the level. The stronger, the better. Let me say that again. The stronger the close, the better. Now, this one actually wasn't the strongest close, really. It closed above it. Look how it printed and it closed. Like this candle right here on this one hour chart, it did indeed close above that short term high. See that? See how it closed above that particular price point of the absolute high of that candle? That's another thing for higher probability market structure shift is does it close above the swing point? Okay. And yep, there you go. There is a market structure shift. That is a high probability. That's the criteria for a high probability market structure shift. If you utilize 
the tips I've given you, you're going to improve your odds of success. Okay. If you really, really utilize what I told you, you will. Now, you can see it pulls back into a discount, gives you an opportunity to enter within this range, and it continues the trend, that that uh, the uptrend, because that was your change in trend. This was the initial shift, and then it pulls back, puts in a higher low, and then it consistently trends up higher. Okay, and another little key tip here, a little key tip here. You see the shift on the one hour, but also at the same exact time that you have that shift in market structure, if you go to a higher time frame chart, what you'll notice is you'll be having a swing low in most cases you'll have a swing low being put in as well to confirm it right so like we could see the shift with on the one hour chart you can see we get this shift on the one hour chart which was right after taking liquidity but then if you go to like a higher time frame chart what you want to see is that swing point put in you want to see that confirmed swing point put in and this is right here look at this low slow in the middle higher low on the left higher low on the right and this is right after keep this in mind this is very important pay very close attention because this could be a light bulb moment light bulb moment for a lot of you it's so simple it's so stupidly simple but it does it like it it escapes a lot of people they just don't even realize this one simple thing you look for that swing low on the shift okay we cr we crack we take these lows we take that liquidity we've already concluded that and then we have the shift go to your higher time frame chart let that candle print let it let it close so let it close and then look coming into nine o'clock which is in new york session at this time this this was in new york session and guess what we have a confirmed swing low we have a draw on liquidity right here up above we have a draw on liquidity right here we understand at this point since we only took this liquidity we only took this significant sell side liquidity down here and we understand it's now going to seek opposing buy side because it only took sell side it has the shift in market structure we have the swing low it's confirmed at this point okay again we're looking at the one hour trend i understand the four hour if you look at this four hour chart, it's bearish in here, but we're trading the one hour chart in this specific scenario. And we took higher time frame liquidity. We had the swing point and we understand we have a draw. On, we have a draw up here as well in a premium marketplace because it's in a discount. It's in a discount on the lower time frame chart at the time that it has this swing low put in. So that's important information as well. It's in a discount marketplace in the four hour. And then you have the one hour, for example, where it has that change in trend in the discount marketplace on the four hour chart. It has this drawn liquidity up above. It has everything, the liquidity, the fair value, you got the close. You have this confirmed four hour swing low put in in a discount marketplace on the higher time frame chart. You got the whole deal. And then we get that surge up. So that about wraps up this video. I want to keep it fairly short because it is, um, it's, there's not a lot of moving parts to market structure shifts. It's pretty straightforward. But if you utilize these tips that I give you in this video, I'm very confident that you will see better, much better results. Okay? If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Catch you later.